So here's a patient with weakness of her limbs. Okay, sir. Seventy-four uh, year old uh, uh, carpenter by occupation complains with hoarseness of way, uh, voice and dysphagia for five months. Weakness of both upper limbs for five months. Okay. So what all things are possible here? Sir, hoarseness uh, of voice, uh, uh, dysphagia, so lower cranial nerve involvement, sir, uh, associated That's with the right. weakness of both upper limb, um, possibility of uh, bulbar variant of uh, autoneuron disease, sir. Okay, can this be a case of uh, myasthenic nerves? Ah, yes, sir. This can be a eh? lower cranial nerve involvement, sir. It can also be present. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ten percent. Okay. History of presenting illness. Initially, patient has difficulty in raising arms to bring up hammer and nail objects at a height. Uh, for, for the past five months, it progressed. Uh, he has to need, need uh, support to take foot to mouth. Difficulty to bring hand behind to pull up pants. There's also complaints of thinning of muscles. So where are we now? Uh, patient has <coughs> weakness followed by distal weakness, sir. Uh, with uh, com also complaints of thinning of muscles also present, sir. Possibility of so, motor, motor neuron disease is a possibility, sir. So thinning of muscles indicate possibility, sir. Case of lower motor neuron lesion. Yes, sir. LML, LML lesion, sir. And difficulty to raise the arms indicates the proximal muscle disease. Yes, sir. Proximal muscle. Initial proximal, later progress to distal muscle also, sir. Not really. He finds it difficult to take the foot to the mouth because his elbow is not going up. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, what are the possibilities here? Is there any... Muscle weakness, sir. Lower motor neuron. Myopathy. Sir? Myopathy, sir. A thinning of muscles is a very usual feature of myopathy. No, sir. Can thinning of muscles is against, yes. sir. Other history? Other history. Uh, patient, is a diabe patient is a diabetic for seven years. No history of addictions on OHA. Uh, history of Ayurvedic treatment, immunized for age. Uh, depend on his wife. Or So history-wise, would you like to give some different mm. diagnosis? Uh, sir, uh, <laughs> my first possible diagnosis is uh, mot uh, motor neuron disease, sir. Uh, considering the age of the patient and also his complaints, then um, proximal myopathy, sir. So second DD, sir. Okay. Yes. Any other? So you have symmetrical weakness, isolated motor only history wise, upper limbs only, parietal involvement, yes, sir. history of yes, wasting. Sir. So you put like history of wasting here. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. So you are thinking about antifonsal disease, then you are thinking about muscle disease, upper limbs, and pause. Yes, sir. And you are talking about neuromuscular disease also. Neuromuscular junctions. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> then, this. On general examination, yes. patient, general examination is normal. See, a cranial nerve examination, uh, central nervous system examination, high mental function was normal, uh, cranial nerve is normal, motor system, sensor system was normal, skull yeah. and spine was normal. Exactly. 
motor, motor system, system gate was normal uh, bulk there was wasting of motor system examination gate was normal bulk there was uh, wasting of both arms uh, triceps more than biceps stone was normal sensor system was normal uh, reflex uh, skull and spine was normal tone normal uh, reflexes was normal look at the wasting here can you see yes sir power uh, yes sir power uh, okay. shoulder uh, 0 by 5 power the sir okay so there um, okay 0 by 5 power shoulder yes then uh, then coming uh, to elbow the, 3 by 5 sir <coughs> The yes, lower limb is normal. Lower it's limb is normal. Also weak, sir. Is neck muscles are weak. Neck muscles. So, what will differentiate the diagram? The neck muscles are weak. Uh, the neural cells are weak. Uh, neck muscles are weak. My skin is good. Ah. Uh, okay. Then, uh, GBS also, if it progressed, the neck muscle weakness can be that. Hmm. <laughs> Any other? Then come on. You refer to hypokalemia. No, no, no. Common things, motor neuron disease. Yes, sir. Motor neuron disease. Yes, sir. Ah, motor neuron disease. Myasthenic disease. Dystrophy myotonia. Ah, dystrophy. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So we couple of conditions only. And of course, intermediate syndrome can produce like like much we can. But that is not the background here. Yes, sir. And this is the you can see the wasting clearly, you know. Yes, Last sir. Last picture yes, sir. particularly, you can see. Yes, sir. There's no bulge, bulge yes, at all. So only this part is wasted, and uh, the supraspinal, infraspinal is this must be remarkably wasted. But come to the below the elbow is okay. Okay. Yes, sir. And that situation to represent over the supraspinatus muscle. Okay, sir. Only there. So, what is fasciculation, by the way? Fasciculations are the what is, uh, in, in the involuntary contractions of the muscle groups, sir. Muscle groups, eh? Can you name a uh, muscle group in the upper limb? Muscle fibers, sir. That's called fibrillation. Which you cannot see with the naked eye. Mm, no, sir. Muscle fascicle. Yes, sir. Muscle fascicle. So, what are the common causes of fasciculation? Uh, sir, there are two types of benign fasciculation and pathological, sir. Uh, how, how will you differentiate between the two? Logical, mostly it is us, sir. Operate, yes. Pathological, it is mostly yes. uh, seen in lower motor, uh, motor neuron disease, sir. Any? Whenever that's fasciculation with wasting. Fasciculation with wasting. Weakness. When you call it as pathological, if muscle yes, is intact, there's no wasting, no loss of power, then you call it as benign. Benign fasciculation. So how do you elicit this uh, fasciculation by the body? Um, when you we have to ask the patient apply cold water, yes, apply ice or cold, ask the patient to hyperventilate. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So name one condition that is fasciculation. Sir. Name some conditions where there are fasciculations. Name few diseases where you have fasciculation. ALS, sir. Amelotropic lateral sclerosis. Okay. You can have in thyrotoxic sclerosis. Yes, sir. Thyrotoxic sclerosis. You can have in organic process poisoning. Any element lesion. OPC, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OPC poisoning. So, in element lesion, if the fasciculation disappears, what does it mean to you? 
वस्ट प्रोग्नोसिस सर प्रोग्नोसिस ओ वस्ट सर मींस पेशेंट हैज बीन मींस दैट इट हैज बीन प्रोग्रेस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सर ओके व्हेन इन मोटर न्यूरो डिजीज ऑलरेडी एक्जिस्टिंग फैट सर्कुलेशन डिसअपियर दैट मींस दैट डिजन टी प्रोसेस activity is stopped yes sir only active only one yes, muscle sir. that part is arrested that's what means oh. so this is summary okay. of the muscle power which you already okay. mentioned okay let us go to the <clears throat> so what is the final diagnosis of this patient uh, motor neuron disease flail limb syndrome sir man in barrel syndrome sir when do you suspect may be presenting with uh, both uh, weakness and wasting but uh, wasting more than weakness uh, uh, without uh, uh, any sensory involvement sir and there so will be um, distal more yes. uh, symmetrical symmetrical distal and proximal weakness sir in motor neuron disease important point is there will be no sensory extra okay. chromosome to yes. display bladder and bowel uh, oh, yes sir. and combination of umn will element may be seen will be there yes sir so, so what is flailing what is it flailing um means that what are different types of uh, motor uh, disease you know so what in this reply sir what say what uh now condition study should be there sir also now yeah, what does it show show low amplitude uh, compound action potentials of peripheral nerves in the upper limb with essentially normal distal latency conduction velocities and without conduction blocks sensory studies within normal limits needle emg study of both deltoid and right biceps showed features of acute on chronic denervation so this is consistent with myopathy or neuropathy sir this is not in favor of myopathy this goes in favor of yes sir neuropathy sir motor neuron disease disease yes so sir. what is spectrum of motor neuron disease uh amelotropic latency seen you uh, seen amelotropic lat uh, als i have seen sir you seen okay next one yes most common form it include both upper and lower motor neuron progressive muscular atrophy it's a element disorder sir have you seen uh, yes it is there not rare yes yeah uh, primary lateral sclerosis isolated human disease is very difficult to diagnose bulbar palsy i have seen yes sir bulbar palsy i have seen sir human and element disorders of pain now flail arm syndrome uh, brachial amyotrophic diplegia element weakness and wasting predominantly affecting proximal arm often asymmetric have you seen flail like like syndrome it is flail arm flail arm have flail arm syndrome no sir no sir so here is a patient the flail arm syndrome okay sir okay mm. okay yes yes flail leg syndrome pseudo polyneuritic variant mm. lmn weakness and wasting onset in the distal leg als plus syndrome along with frontotemporal dementia autonomic instability parkinsonism supranuclear gaze palsy and sensory loss so actually very solution in motor neuron disease and your home sir sir that's in the spinal cord what about the brain yes sir what uh, brain it will be there in uh, it can be in fibers sir cortex cortico bulbar yes sir cortex of the fibers cortico or lumbar thoracic according to yes, you get different patterns okay yes, you got brain stem you yes, got bulbar palsy 
if you have got spinal yes. cord involvement, you'll be having spinal presentation where you get combination of LM and NEM. And yes. <clears throat> you may get flail, either flail leg. <clears throat> what flail limb, sir? Flail leg, where the lower part of the spinal cord is affected. Or you can have flail arm, cervical part is affected. It can be exclusively okay. a perimeter type. Progressive, mm -hmm. the primary lateral sclerosis type. It can be wasting progressive muscular atrophy. It can be in the form of a <coughs> respiratory difficulty. Yes, or hemiplegic pattern. Yes, sir. Now, <coughs> the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis can have a lot of association from the temporal dementia alone or with the frontal dementia. <coughs> All types of combinations are possible with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Lateral sclerosis. So, yes. motor neuron disease, although you say classical <coughs> amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, it is not always possible to have that pattern. All these varieties are expected to possible, be sir. seen. So, basically, to we'll spare the bladder, bowel, cranial nerves, sensory system, and you can have fasciculation. That was the only clinical clue to make a diagnosis on the bedside. In this case, it was a difficult case. Yes, sir. So, with the final diagnosis in this case, man in barrel, motor, no, neuron, disease, uh, motor neuron disease, flail arm syndrome, sir. Syndrome. Okay. Okay, sir. How does it differ from how does it differ from classical amyotrophic lateral sclerosis? <coughs> uh, sir, uh, ALS, there will be uh, both the uh, upper and lower motor neuron syndrome, sir. Basically, flail arm has got a better prognosis. Flail leg okay, has sir. a better prognosis than the uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Okay, sir. Bulbar palsy has got bad prognosis. So the barber has a bad prognosis. Progressive muscular atrophy has better prognosis. Flail arm usually arrests by itself, but <coughs> leaving behind some amount of residual weakness. Okay, sir. Any other doubt? Um, sir, uh, Hirayama is also a type of... Uh, MND then. What is it? Hirayama. Say again. Hirayama. 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 Yes, sir. Hirayama. Yes, yes. Uh, <coughs> so, yeah, do you get motor disease very often? Sir? Do you see plenty of cases? Motor neuron disease? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Neuro what? what I used to see, sir. What all varieties you are seeing? Sir, and this. Uh, 